Hello and welcome to another video from DIY PC Repairs. This time we're going to take a look at rolling back to an earlier restore point in Windows 8. You may have seen the video regarding how to create the restore point, so now we're going to look at how we roll back to it should our system run into trouble. So again from the start, what we're going to do is type system, restore from anywhere on the start page there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on settings, and then we're going to left click on create system restore point. That's going to open the system properties on the system protection tab and the first thing on the system protection tab that we see is the system restore. So we left click there, that's going to open up system restore, then it's going to give you a quick description of what system restore is and what it can do. So we click next. So this is where we get to see our restore points. Now you can see here that we have a system OK, we have two manually created restore points and then one where we've had some Windows updates and it's been automatically created by Windows. So we have a restore point here called System OK, so I'm going to select that one. It's always a good idea to go with your latest system restore if you can, and if that doesn't work, roll backwards after that. So we're going to pick our latest. Okay, you can see that we have a button here that says Scan for Affected Programs. So if we left click there, that's going to scan your computer for any programs that may be removed or any drivers that may be removed if you roll back to a restore point. So you can see here that we have no detected issues, so if we click close, if we actually go down and select the Windows Update and do the same thing, you'll see here that this restore point was created before we installed the updates, so anything that was installed on the updates will be removed. Now sometimes that's good because if that's what's causing your problem, you can roll back and then not use that update. So we're going to use the system OK one, so we're going to select that, we know there's no effective programs, we're going to click next. It's then going to tell us where we're rolling back to. So we click finish. It's now going to tell us that once started, system restore can't be interrupted. We'll click yes, and it's going to prepare the system for a system restore. Okay, the computer is now going to restart. Okay, now that the computer's restarted, if we go to the desktop, you'll see that the system restore was completed successfully and we've rolled back our system settings and any programs back to the earlier time. So that's a quick look at system restore on Windows 8 and I'd like to thank you for watching.